Hi everyone, Azrael Knight here, and today I'm running a bit of an experiment. I've often asked myself, what would happen if I put darkroom paper in the back of a camera and took a photo? And today I'm gonna to try and answer that question. Let me show you how I've got it set up so far. I'm gonna be using this Minolta SRT Super and this Alien B. I'm gonna shove a strip of darkroom paper in there, throw it on bulb, and then fire off this Alien B here then immediately dump it into the chemicals over here. So here are a couple of different predictions I have as to what's gonna happen. First is the most obvious, and that's the image is gonna come out as a negative. Uh, second problem is gonna be making sure that the strip of paper is flat against the back of the camera on the inside uh, so that the image is able to come in sharp. And then the third problem is going to be trying to figure out what a proper exposure is for this. I think I'm going to start out strong and work my way back. If I go on the highest setting and I see a big black square, then I know that I'm on the right track. If I fired it off at the strongest setting and I see nothing, uh, then I might need even more light. Okay, camera set the bulb at f1.7. Uh, I just need to focus it. It doesn't really matter where, it's just going to be a picture of my darkroom. Okay, the camera's in place, the darkroom chemicals are ready, the dark lights are on. Uh, the only thing left for me to do is to throw the regular lights off, cut a couple of strips, toss it in the back, and see if this crazy experiment has any point whatsoever. I re I'm really hoping this works, because if it does, I'd like to try it on a couple of medium format cameras. Okay, first test strip is developed and the results are in. You're not gonna believe this, check this out. Let me see if I can get a better angle. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. You can clearly see it's a negative of the darkroom. It might be a touch bright, but I almost got the exposure spot on, which is really funny because I just threw it on full and uh, opened up the aperture right to 1.7. Yeah, I'm really surprised that it worked that well, that quick. I had planned on coming in here tonight for the long haul, but I think I'm going to upgrade to a bigger computer. Computer? I think I'm gonna to upgrade to a bigger camera now and see how that goes. Okay, second camera I'm gonna try this with is a Kodak number 2A folding camera. This takes 116 film. It's basically 120 film, but bigger, so it's got a really nice big inside. The only thing is, it's gonna be a little difficult getting the film in, because I've gotta stick it in the back here, then pop it on, then get it on a tripod. So, we'll see how it goes. Oh yeah, the maximum aperture on this is 7.9, not 1.7, so I might not have enough light this time. First attempt with the second camera, definitely need more light. F7.9 is a far cry from 1.7, that's for sure. At first I thought I did it wrong, but it's just really underexposed. Gonna do it again now, and this time I'm gonna fire off the flash bulb about four, five, maybe even six times and see what happens. I'll start with four and see where it goes from there. Second attempt here looks much better. There's definitely some detail in there. Now that I got it somewhat working, I think the next thing to do is to try something a bit more creative than a photo of my darkroom wall. Okay, not too complicated of a setup. I've got the Alien B hooked up to this light meter here, so I can fire it without being right behind it. And the idea is I'm gonna stand here with the camera on the tripod here and do a bit of a selfie, or as they used to call it, a self-portrait. I gotta say I'm pretty happy with the results of the first go at this. And decent exposure. I don't know how sharp it is. I'm gonna say not too sharp. This is from the window at the back 
where you would look at your shot number, it's not covered up properly, so light seeped through. I'm going to try it again. You can see in addition to the strobe, some of the surrounding light did get in. Maybe what I'll do this time is just a timed exposure of 10 or 20 seconds, uh, no flash bulb, staying as still as possible, and see what happens then. Okay, here's attempts number three and four. With attempt number three, I just held really still for 20 seconds and let the light of the room uh, expose the image. You can see my face is almost completely dark. Uh, in attempt number four, I moved the light more in front of me and then I just fired it once. This one definitely looks a lot sharper, but I don't think I'm gonna know for sure until I see it on a scan inverted. Overall though, this is turning out way better than I thought. I'm going to let these dry for a bit, and then I'm going to scan them onto my PC and see how they look. Okay, I got them dry, scanned in, and they look good. Here are the results. So definitely sharper than I had expected, and you could tell that on the darkroom shot. So these aren't going to end up in any gallery someday, that's for sure. Um, but there has to be some sort of use for this. What immediately comes to mind is the idea of using it to test for light leaks. If you have any other ideas, let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, stay classic.